hello in this video i'm going to show you how to install chef boost framework installation instructions are clearly described in the readme file of the repository as shown here the easiest way to install the framework is to install it with pypy i'm going to call the command pip install chef boost the framework is installed successfully you can check the framework when installation is over you should call python command in your command prompt and from chef boost import chef boost as seen it's imported successfully and there is no error message installing framework with a pip command is not the only way alternatively you can clone the repository here and call git clone calling this command will create a chef boost directory on your current directory and uh, in chef boost folder you should see chef boost.py and that's the uh, interface of our framework and uh, our main functions exist in that file and also the special.py file will help you how to use chef boost framework and it contains some unit tests I just run the first block and I do not want to run the other unit tests that's why I deactivate these blocks it's going to call a uh, data set slash go for that txt file but there is no uh, data set folder here it it's located in the tests slash data set folder I need to change this directory it should be like that and I'm going to go to that folder and I'm going to call this dispatcher.file python dispatcher pi as seen decision tree is built and uh, predictions are made I install the framework with git command because my uh, system recognizes the git command as seen if your local system they wouldn't recognize the git command just like that for example git is not recognized as internal or external command uh, exception message in windows alternatively you can download that link download uh, zip creates chef boost dash master uh, dot zip on your system and let's extract it same files exist in this folder and you can apply same steps here so we have mentioned how to install chef boost framework step by step I strongly recommend you to read this readme file and it shows how to use this framework detailly. Thank you for watching and see you next time.